The AI video generation since has been crazy lately. Earlier this year, OpenAI introduced Sora, and it blew everyone's minds with its super realistic and high quality outputs, making other video generators look pretty bad in comparison. But then things got even more interesting. We saw some serious competitors pop up. Google VO came out and almost matched Soros quality. And then a Chinese company called Quite Sure announced Kling. And don't forget about Dream Machine by Luma Labs. I even made a video on that one. But today we've got big news from one of the originals in video generation, Runway. They have been quiet for a while, but now they're back with Runway Gen 3 Alpha, and let's find out in this video. Gen 3 assets was made publicly available, but unfortunately, it's not available if you are on a free plan for Runway, you have to be a pro user. And in this video, I will show you some amazing videos created by Runway Gen 3 to get a review of this model. Here we have a whole fashion show created by Runway Gen 3. I must say it's incredibly impressive and I thought it was real at the very first moment of the whole video. Compared to Runway Gen 2, it could not even generate people walking or running. It can only generate still since with simple panning and zooming but now Gen 3 is able to generate high action scenes and you can see the quality is pretty good. I would even say the clarity and the details of the video are slightly better than Dream Machine. And however, if you look at the audience right here, there are still some noticeable inconsistencies. And also we can notice some inconsistencies with the food of these models here when they walk. And here it seems a little bit scary when the model turns around. It looks like she has two hats. But I think overall it's still very mind-blowing compared to other AI video generators available. And now move on to another video. Here we got a cinematic shot of a hideous manta raising from the rival Timis in London. And again, we can notice some inconsistencies with the tower, the eyes, and also the nose of the monster. But everything looks very cinematic and like it's coming straight out of the Godzilla movie. And the water movement is very perfect and realistic. And also we have low angle checking shot following a slick sports car with neon lights reflecting off the wet pavement. Obviously it still looks inconsistent in some details but you can see it understand the physics of life very well. You can see the car and traffic lights reflected on the street and the movement is very smooth during the whole video. And compared to other tools like Luma Labs, Runway Gen 3 is faster and often more realistic. Luma Labs takes hours to generate videos while Runway does it in just a few minutes. And also the continuity and stability in Runway's video are huge improvement over last year technology. And one thing Runway Gen 3 currently lacks is the ability to upload images. This means you can control the outputs as precisely as you might like. For example, if you are making a film about the revolutionary war, you can upload the reference images to ensure the accuracy, this can lead to some funny mishaps like getting the World War II soldiers instead of Revolutionary War I. And despite this, Runway Gen 3 is an amazing tool. The technology has come a long way and it's only going to get better. And whether you are a filmmaker, a content creator, or just someone who loves playing with new technologies, it's worth checking out. And so what do you think? Are you ready to give Runway Gen 3 a try? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome technology updates. And also leave a comment below with your thoughts on Runway Gen 3. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.